Hey, very fresh. 27th of January, 2020. Pray you're all are blessed. And uh, wow, there's just so much going on, it's ridiculous. Between Netanyahu and Gantz coming over, the peace plan, the Iraqi embassy being missiled, Kobe Bryant, the coronavirus, all these things. But there's one thing I came across that was just incredibly interesting to me and gives a very good example of the spiritual war that we're in here. And this is multi, multi-generational. It's been going on since the garden and you need to understand that you're in it. It's not flesh and blood we battle. It just isn't. This is a battle for your eternal soul. You need to come to the understanding you need a savior. And Jesus Christ is it, the only one. But I just wanted to share this one thing with you because it is absolutely fascinating to me. On the 24th, it was the new moon, but it was also Chinese New Year's Eve, right? And on that night, on the 24th in Chinatown in New York, you had a fire at a Chinese American history museum and the thing burned up. Here in New York, officials at a museum in Chinatown are struggling with a potentially devastating loss on Lunar New Year. This is the story of Chinese immigration to this country. But there's so much you can't get back. Oh, yeah. Devastating loss for them. Right into New Year's Day, but it happened on New Year's Eve. Chinese New Year's Eve. Well, just a year ago on American New Year's Day, you had the Rose Parade in Pasadena where a Chinese American history float caught on fire. The Union Pacific Railroad float honoring Chinese American railroad workers was unable to make its way down the parade route. Uh, you can see smoke coming from the float. I spoke with a parade official who has been working the parade for 39 years and says she's never seen anything like this. You see what I'm saying? New Year's Day, America, Chinese American history float catches on fire. New Year's Day, Chinese, New York City, Chinese American History Museum burns. Think about this. Now, this fire in the parade with these trains is really crazy because if you look at the trains, and you can look this up, I mean, it's all history. One of the trains was the 119 or the 911, and the other train was called the Jupiter, which in many circles represents Jesus, the king planet, right? So you had the 119 and the Jupiter, the King Jesus, on 9-11, his birthday. This is just a giant mocking ceremony that they did when they finished this train. And what did they finish it up with? A golden spike, right? Think about it. What was Jesus nailed to the cross with? You see how they mock Christ? They mock God in everything? And these two trains that came together, the first transcontinental link, or stitching the country together, made the two, east-west, one. Like Ephesians 2.15. All mockery, the golden spike, all of it. Think about that. And the time between these two incidents, the museum burning and the float burning, was a year and 24 days, or 12 months and 24 days. The 24, the 24, again. You see what I mean? Jesus' blood was 24 chromosomes. That's just insane to me. But it's a lot of mockery. This world is laid out like Satan's Google Earth. And he puts his little push pins in where his memorials are. And when he completes these human slave labor projects like the transcontinental railroad 119 and jupiter come on but anyway i gotta share this stuff with you guys i'll leave links to this you just can't make it up praise god he's so good to us i hope you know christ jesus and this coronavirus this all ties together but i mean on the 23rd they're claiming there are 23 million people that were quarantined who calls an emergency on the 24th in China? I mean, seriously. 23 million under uh, quarantine, 23 million, and then the next day it was 46 million under quarantine. I mean, come on. On the 20th, 
That's just crazy, you guys. 23, 46, and now it's 56, supposedly, million of them. Plus 13 will give you that 69. They drove the golden spike in 1869. I'm just sharing this because people need to see, to understand, it's a spiritual war. And it's not just like men in suits, the elite and the Illuminati. This is spiritual. These are principalities in high places. And it's for your soul. Do you understand? And Jesus and the armor of God are the only victory against this. Seek him and seek him now. Praise God. Peace and grace to all of you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 